Hi, I'm Rebecca. Uh, thank you so much for inviting someone from uh, the city perspective. I work for the city of San Rafael. I've worked there for the past 10 years. And um, I'm here to talk about how in San Rafael we are learning how to make government work better by sharing what we make, learn, and improve. So I actually didn't know a guy from Red Hat was going to be here. This is cool. I think you're going to like some of the stuff I'm going to talk about. Um, last year, we have an employee book club, and last year we read The Open Organization by Jim Whitehurst, the CEO of uh, Red Hat. And a couple of guys from Red Hat actually Skyped into our book club. It was really cool. Uh, and this book really inspired us to start thinking about the culture and the people in our organization and how we can embrace the idea of openness as a tool to make government and as an organization work better. So he talks about in this book that really to create this open everything culture, you have to be passionate, you have to be comfortable with ambiguity, you have to thrive with change. And that's not always what we think about when we think about the typical government bureaucrat, but I think that's changing. So in San Rafael, we uh, have embarked on a culture change initiative that we call Together San Rafael. And this initiative is really to drive the modernization of our services and to also make San Rafael an awesome place to work. So connecting the people and the services together. And we've co-created these guiding principles with our employees. And my favorite is practice openness. So this is our intranet from a while ago. It was a SharePoint site that was from like 2003, I think. And um, no one ever really went there. It was a horrible place. You can, if, can't see, but some of the, the announcements there are from like years ago. So last year, we decided instead just to build a public facing mobile first website with no password for our employees. So now employees have access to information without having a password. Um, it's also an incredible recruitment tool because prospective employees can see who we are and how we work. And we also can share everything that we are doing with other cities. So on here, you'll find easy to access answers to common questions like, this is the mileage reimbursement rate for 2018. We'll have to update that soon. This is a guide that we created for our employees on how to conduct outreach with the community. Um, and actually on here in the menu there, there's a tab called writing about people. And that's a guide that the city of Oakland made for their employees and we credited that and borrowed it uh, and made it for San Rafael because it was so awesome. This is um, actually the page that we have the most views per month, which is how to write a staff report. And I can tell you that those views are not our employees. The staff reports would be better. So this is us contributing back to the world um, of local governments on how to write better staff reports. So what's exciting to me about an open culture in government, there's 20,000 cities across the United States. 10 are more than a million, but 90% of them are under 25,000 people. These are small municipalities that don't have a lot of resources. So by practicing openness in government, we can scale innovation and solutions to cities of all sizes. Last year, 6,000 homes were burned in the Tubbs Fire. Santa Rosa is my hometown. Uh, and I went to work in the Emergency Operations Center under mutual aid. And one of the things we found right away was that people didn't have access to information on websites that worked on mobile phones. So my friend and I, my colleague and I from San Rafael, we came up to Santa Rosa and we stood this site up in three days for people. It's still up today providing, providing recovery information. Uh, on a mobile site, and it also bridged the County of Sonoma and Santa Rosa together to use one site rather than maintaining a multiple site. I saw this the other day. I had nothing to do with it. This site was stood up by someone from Santa Rosa coming to help Paradise in their time of need and stood this up in a matter of days for people. So here we had Santa, Ra Santa Fel hit helping Santa Rosa during their time of need, and then helping Paradise, a city of 27,000 people, get critical information to their constituents on a mobile first site. This was launched in a couple of days, and this to me is 
openness at scale. Jim Whitehurst, in his book, he said, if we have anything valuable, it's incumbent upon us to share it. And I think government should embrace this. So this site is just waiting in the wings now. This is Marin Recovers. Hopefully we never have to turn it on. But if we do, any community in Marin will have access to it, whether it's San Rafael, a city of 60,000, or Bolinas, a city of 1,600. So in closing, uh, going back, go buy this book. <laughs> um, as we make new things, as we learn and improve, let's also share them because almost everything in the world becomes better when it's open. Thank you.